I'm going to be moving the camera about a lot so that you guys can actually see what I am doing. So that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So that's just the cover. Let's see, I'm going to have to lift up the camera so guys you can see. Can you see the prawns? Prawns, you can see them. Okay, so there's another video that I did where I actually showed how I actually cut the prawns. So, this is the prawn, some people call them langoustines. So, you take off the head, and obviously, you've got your bag, so you can just you know pop them in the bag. You go like that. Like that. Let's see, and you just peel it, and there you have your prawns. Can you see? <clears throat> just move that to the side, and then you've got your knife, and then you go like that. Yeah, and then you see the poo. When you do that, the poo will just come out. You see that. And then you just pop it in your bag with the rubbish. And that's it. That's how you do it. Yeah? And then you've got your bowl with your water and you just dip it inside, okay? Just pour some more water in. So that's the corn in there. Do that again. So you just take off the head. So you take off the head. Take off the tail. I mean, that's the easiest way to do it, guys. And then you just peel it. Once you've taken the head and the tail off, it's easy to peel it. It just comes off. See that? And then you go down the the middle again I mean obviously I do this all the time if you're not if you're not confident you see the poo if you're not confident with it obviously maybe put it on a chopping board yeah until you get to the point where you're confident with the knife okay and then you just wash it and you put it in your water that you've got so yeah. The poo gets everywhere, doesn't it? So, that as well. Peel it off. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this content. If you want to see more cooking videos, use the hashtag uh, Nigelicious Foodie, Nigelicious Cooking, and A Saturday Kitchen yeah and then you see all of my cooking videos see that just getting getting all the nasty bits out of it see that see that guys and then you put it in your clean water I mean, you choose the system that suits you anyway. If you want to just peel everything at once and then come back later and then remove the poo. You know, anyhow you... I mean, whichever way is easier for you. You just do it. Yeah. How long has that taken? And 4 minutes 41 seconds. So. How many have I done? One, two, three, four. Mm. 
<clears throat> so guys please like comment and subscribe if you like this and please get me to a thousand more than a thousand subscribers you know before the end of this month so that i can do more dishes for you maybe cook some soup stuff like that i don't mind cooking I don't mind cooking videos, it's all good fun. Just wiping away the poo. <laughs> the poo from the prawns. Just wiping that away. I thought you guys should have mastered it by now. And then you just take all the poo out. Yeah. I think I'll do one more, then I'll save the rest so that the video... Oh, don't know where the flies are coming from. Anytime you do the seafood, then you start seeing the flies around. I better play my cleansing music again. So, wash it off. Fly. I don't want flies in this house, oh god, please, I don't want flies. And then I put it in my water, how many have I got left? So that the video, oh, so I don't, yeah, be careful so you don't block your sink as well with the fish thing. Because it doesn't dissolve, so you got to be careful with that. Because I was doing the video, I wasn't really paying attention to that because I was doing the video. So. I'm gonna leave that in there. Okay guys, so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. That's the poo that I'm talking about. And um, can you see? These are the prawns, yeah? Prawns all washed, nice, ready to go. So that took me about, God, that took me almost 10 minutes to do because I'm doing it and I'm talking to you guys as well. But anyway, I'm just going to finish this off and then continue with the next clip, okay? <clears throat> Thank you to anybody in this world who is actually my genuine Sparta, who does not feel that it is okay to be watching me in my private hours. To anybody in this world who is actually my genuine Sparta, who actually feels, knows, and believes that it is not okay. 
you are the person, you are the people who I'm actually giving thanks to. Because you are the genuine people who actually know and believe that it is not okay. So you are the people that I am greeting right now. So anyway, I will continue this cooking video. The next clip, let me just finish the prawns. Please like, comment and subscribe for more cooking videos, more fun videos to see more of the stuff that I normally share on my platform. Thank you very much. Okay guys, so these are the prawns again. These are the ones I have left over. Okay, these are the ones left over and these are the ones that I have finished. These are the ones that I'm actually going to use in my cooking. So let me just let me just put them here for the meantime. Okay, so those are the prawns that I'm actually going to use in my cooking. Yeah. See that I've washed it all and I've taken off the poo. And there's spring onions. I've got spring onions here. There's nothing on the board. That's just the wood. I've got spring onions and I've got the red pepper. And this is how the red pepper looks before it's chopped up. Okay, guys. Yeah. So for anybody who's just joining, so the prawns. I've already peeled these. There's another video where I actually show you how to do that. But I've done that in this video as well. And I've got my tomatoes. And I beg your pardon, my sweet pepper. These are very, very sweet. Delicious to the taste. Spring onion. And that's what it looks like for anybody who's not used to it. That's what it looks like before it's chopped up. Okay. So I've got my pot. Yeah, that's palm oil in it. I'm okay for it to have the palm oil in it. Yeah, the palm oil has stained it from all of the use. So, I don't know. How am I going to do this? I'm just going to keep this here. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep the camera here for a moment. One second. <clears throat> Then I put the fire on. Yeah. It's a dirty cooker. That's fine. Because I'm actually going to clean it. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. I want to be watching me. So let's see what happens as a result of this video. Okay. So. Put my washing up liquid. And I'm doing this one-handedly. Just washing that out. See, see, that's the poo. See the poo from the langoustines. So anytime that I rest the camera, you know that I'm resting the camera because I need to make use of more of my hands. Because <laughs> I've only got two hands. So when you see me do that, when you see me resting the camera, 
is because I actually need to do something with my hands. And that's how it's going to be until I find somebody to assist me with this. So I'm just waiting for the pot to dry. I'm going to use palm oil. If you're one of my sporters, Spartans, Spartans, you would have heard you would have heard me, you would have heard me, you would have heard me talk about Carantino palm oil before. It's healthy palm oil. It's so healthy that I use it in cooking rice. Actually, I use it in cooking anything that I want. So, I'm just gonna, yeah, see that? So, I washed the pots in front of you so that you guys can actually see that I've washed the pots in front of you. Okay. So I'm just going to put in the oil now. You know, just enough to coat it. Yeah? You just you just need enough to coat it. Okay, just you just need enough to coat it. Mm -hmm. If, if I wasn't recording it, I'd actually let the oil be hotter, you know, so that I can get the sizzle out of it. Mm, that's beautiful. Vegetables, and then I'm gonna put this in, guys. This is just a quick meal that anybody can make. Yeah, that's my vegetable seasoning. I've used this in a lot of my videos before. It's very nice and it's actually quite salty. So if you decide to use it, please be careful. Yeah, be careful the way you use it because it's actually quite salty. All right, my lovelies, I've prepared a seat for you when you come I'm just gonna take the prawns now, just a handful, and then I'm gonna put them in. Just basically, you cook it until it turns pink. You just keep on stirring it. That's lime scale. See that? See your nice, fat, juicy prawns. You cook them until they change color. Yeah, you cook it until it turns pink. This is a very, very quick, easy dish. As you can see, in just a few seconds, the prawns are going to be cooked. It's not going to take long at all. And then I love to use this. See, they've already got the prawns in it, as you can see. Coconut milk powder mix. Coconut milk powder mix. Oh, my God. Let this phone not fall into this pot. And then... Yeah. I just put a little bit of coconut powder. You can use as much as you like. I mean... 
for those of you that cook by measurements, I cook by eye. I cook by eye. That's how I do my cooking. I cook by eye. So if you're going to do your measurements, you can just do a trial run and see how it goes. As you can see, the sauce is ready. See that? For this kind of sauce, once the prawns are cooked, you know that your sauce is ready, really. And just let your vegetables cook down a little bit. Unless you're the kind of person who likes to cook your vegetables until there's nothing left. I mean, I like to have it, a, you know, a little bit crunchy to the taste. So you can see that, guys. Maybe I'll buy another pot for when I'm doing these presentations. But this pot, this is the pot that my mom gave me. And this is the one that I always use. So... It's a pot that my mother gave me that I use. If you feel like you want to call it a cauldron, there's nothing that I can say to you. Yeah? So, I'm going to use this as well. The rice noodles. The rice noodles are going to go into the mix. So, let me see if I can find the knife. like comments and subscribe so I've got my knife just cutting the pack yeah. because I'm doing it one handed obviously so you've got your rice noodles see that and then you just pop them in when I was doing my prep, I could have put the noodles in another in another container, but hey, this is the first time I'm doing it like this. And then you just mix everything together. See that? And that's your noodles basically because the rice noodles that I put in there these rice noodles they're already cooked so they're not gonna need much more cooking because they're already cooked yeah. see and you can see your prawns are pink now you can see can you see the prawns are actually pink now so It's already salty like I said before it's already salty because that seasoning this seasoning this one this one is very very salty so it's already salty really I don't really have to add anything else mm -mm, because it's already salty mm -hmm. Later on, when I finish with you guys, and that's in the pot, it's just simmering, and I'm gonna turn it down. Turn it down, and I think I might just put in a little bit of water, just put in some water. So that's it guys and then if you want me to plate it up for you guys i can plate it up for you guys but that's it students you know students people who don't know how to cook 
somebody who wants to impress their boyfriend or girlfriend there you have it very very quick simple easy noodles that you can cook you know you can cook to impress i don't know i don't know who you want to impress you know whoever it may be and that's cooked you don't want it to cook more than that you know if it cooks any more than this is gonna be soggy there you have it amazing things happen when i cook food i'm sorry about the mess because it's just me one doing it filming it trying to plate it at the same time but that's it guys your quick easy noodles i hope you enjoyed if you like this like comment and subscribe everything i do i do it with the best intention so i really don't understand why this attack has continued for this long but god protects me that's all i can say it is god that is protecting me because up until this moment i'm still to see the person who's actually going to come forward and do the right thing but anyway cooking video i don't want to go on too long if you like this like comment and subscribe and then I can do more quick, easy meals. I can do complicated meals. Any kind of meals that you want. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you.